Hello, everyone. Today, we will continue answering two questions that I consider the two most frequently asked or the two most irritating questions that model developers encounter during the meetings. First, let's summarize our previous conversation. Instead of asking what will happen if everybody wants to join the model, the true questions we will need to ask is what will happen to the performance of the model if it manages 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 200 to 500 million, then billions? The performance moves opposite to the scale of the trading capital. And the reason is, the larger the size of each order, the lower quality execution we will receive. And we saw an example demonstrating that if we will reduce the execution price at every order by only one point, the result will change from a profitable model to a losing one. Now let's delve into my favorite five whys. Why number one? Why, when order sizes grow, the performance declines? When it comes to execution in financial markets, there are two possible ways to get the original price, as a market taker or as a maker. On the left, we have buyers that place their orders and want to buy at certain prices, meaning give dollars and get Ethereum's in return. And here are the sellers that want to sell at certain prices, give Ethereum's and get dollars in return. I want to buy at the price of 100, meaning each Ethereum costs $100. To buy 10 Ethereum, I need to pay $1,000. So I give the first seller $1,000. And the seller gives me 10 Ethereum, and then seller continues to wait for someone else to buy the remaining 65 Ethereum from him. But what will happen if I manage not $1,000 fund, but $10,000 fund? I will have enough money to buy 100 Ethereum at a price of 100 with $10,000. But there are only 75 Ethereum available at this level, and I will need to buy the remaining 25 from a seller at a price 101. Thus, our average execution price becomes 100.25 and not 100. And if I'm a system that wants to manage $100,000, I can potentially move the market even further. At Endotech, we are a market taker. We look at the market and see how much it can take without us affecting the price. And we repeat such small orders again and again till full order size is filled. Since our algorithm entries are done when the market is moving sideways prior to the move, and our exits are happening prior to the trend move completion, we can use this smart market taker technique. Why number two? Why doesn't the entry order improve the execution of the exit order? Well, let's answer this by discussing GameStop. It was a clear case of a large order or large number of small orders moving market prices and resulting in further avalanche of movement because of all stop orders triggered during the climb. Why doesn't Endotech want to play this game? First, we are not interested in manipulating the market. We are strictly here to participate. To manipulate, you need to have either a strong political stand on what is right and what is wrong, or be really hungry for the money. Right now, we are neither. Why number three? Why do some companies succeed in investing and trading immense amounts? Diversify, diversify, diversify. The answer here in diversification into strategies, into version of the strategies, into series of small orders, time-weighted average price execution, into assets, exchange it, asset classes. Why number four? Why you are not afraid to reach capacity? We are extremely good with diversifying and scaling up since we are a strong technology company. Plus, our view on less is more when it comes to the frequency of the orders does wonders with capacity issues. Why number five, which is actually what? What is our performance curve? With the crypto market is keeping approximately 100 billion in daily transaction volume, it is big enough to hide up to 1 billion in trading turnover. So as we said, in crypto market right now, we're able to manage 1 billion, in the next diversification, we will be able to manage up to 5 billion, and then we will diversify into additional markets. Question number two. If your system is so good, why would you sell it and not use it for yourself? Let's see who asked this question. The first one, our average client. 
let's call him Joe. This question is usually asked after a client sees the numbers. $4,000 becomes $8,000, $12,000, and some clients even get to $65,000. When the individual asks this question, I can clearly see in his eyes that he's questioning why someone would share such a superpower. And here are two answers, practical and practical. We do trade for ourselves. But let's look at one of our company's test accounts. It started last year with $125,000, and now it grew to 1 million by trading on our Ethereum strategy. Happy story, right? But if we look at our company growth, we already have 170 million under the management of our strategies. And given any reasonable performance of 100% plus in the same year, we will theoretically earn $34 million. There is a significant difference, right? 1 million versus $34 million. Say next year, our test account will reach $10 million, while we plan to cross 1 billion are the management for our strategies. Again, we should be able to generate 200 million for the company. So we are talking about generating 10 million compared to 200 million. Accordingly, by sharing strategies with others, we win and we share the rewards, creating a meaningful relationship between both parties. But this question contains another meaning when it comes from large investors. The question goes as follows. What if we provide you with 1 billion? Why not trade it as a proprietary internal Nostra fund? Our answer is as following. The financial field is full of moral dilemmas. It's almost like a zero-sum game. The question becomes, what side do you serve? And no one seems to be on the side of the little guy when it becomes to delivering high return opportunities. And while it's always hard to do the right thing, it's extremely gratifying. It's easier to make money for yourself. It's easier not to be accountable and not to have thousands of eyes monitoring you. It's easier not to hear frustration of clients that would do better and differently, or correspond with clients that have difficulties with long-term investing, whereby even one week of negative result is considered a disaster. We learn to see the big picture. In the end, we deliver 2x, 20x for our clients. And yes, there are risks. Yes, there are technological challenges. Yes, there is a learning curve. But most importantly, we feel extremely good that we do it not only for ourselves, but for hundreds of thousands of clients. I would like to thank our clients for being with us on this journey. Bye for now and see you next time.